Hey guys, welcome to for tutorials. Guys, today I create more graph animation in Cinema 4D. So guys, I take spare and spare radius take 25 centimeter, 25 and copy this spare. Press Ctrl C and V. Now I have two spare. After that guys, I take platonix and change radius same 25 centimeter, 25. And again, same copy this platonix, copy, and last time I take cube and cube size take 40 centimeter, 40, 40, and last 40. Guys, I go to filter here, fillet, and fillet radius take 3, and fillet subdivision take 3. Yes, guys, I go to MoGraph and use this time cloner select all objects guys you can copy this cube copy and select all and make child with cloner guys select cloner and more use grid grid count increase i take 6 same 6 and lastly third point 6 but guys change size Take 100 centimeter, 100 and take 100. Guys, I go to display, select God shading lines. But guys, change position. So, select this platonix, go on mid and cube, change and third spare, go on top. Yeah, that's good. And now, Guys, I apply Cinema 4D Studio Lite. So I go to File and Merge. Select this Cinema 4D Studio Lite and Open. I select this Cloner and Up. Yes. I select Cloner and again I go to MoGraph Effector. This time I take Random Effector. Select Random and I go to Parameter Position uncheck i select only rotation rotation all rotation take 360 degree 360 and 360 lastly 360 and enter yeah see guys this is my cube of bunch and now guys i apply material so i go to create and load material select material and open guys I apply random material like spare on yellow blue purple red green and lastly I apply orange select yes after that guys select this cloner and right click simulation tag and use rigid body tag select collision and inheritance tag apply tag to children and individual element use all that's it and guys i go to flow and background select only flow right click on flow simulation tag and use collider body that's it go on back and play yeah, that's great. But guys, I increase frame like 500. 500 frames. Yes. And guys, again, I go to rigid body tag. And I go to force. Follow position. Take like two. And back and play. Yes. See guys. This is my simple MoGraph animation. right so guys i go to edit and project settings guys i go to dynamic and gravity i take 10000 increase one zero go on back and play yes see guys again stop and go on back and play 
see guys yes great okay now guys i select cloner and again i go to mograph effector and this time i take shader go on parameter shader parameter scale size take minus 0.8 and absolute scale size check go on back and play see guys right so stop guys i go to fall off and shape i use spare and spare size increase like 300 300 and 300 go on back and play yes that's good but guys follow offset change like 25 25 so go on back zero frame and play select the shader and increase like this see guys this is my animation right it's so easy guys yes that's good so stop guys i apply vibrate tag on shader so right click on shader cinema 4d tag and use vibrator enable position check aptitude take like 200 200 and lastly 200 and frequency take only one that's it and play see guys this my vibrator effector guys again i change amplitude like 400 400 and 400 and frequency same one is good and play yes see guys this is my final animation okay so stop guys i go to render setting click output take full hd frame this one and current frame use all guys i go to save format i use jpeg sequences go on desktop create folder like cube file name and guys i go to anti select best mb occlusion maximum samp i take 1 to 8 and accuracy i take 100 percent and lastly guys i take global illumination but guys global illumination take low that's it set camera angle go on back and camera check guys lock this camera angle right click on camera cinema 4d tag and use protection back and play yes this is really nice so stop and render press ok so guys this is my simple small tutorials finish if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you